Before I had kids, I had a clean house. Chores to do, a job. Actually, I had multiple jobs. I would work hard during the day and come home to my nice and clean house to binge Netflix. And maybe I treat myself to a last minute Froyo trip. Then I would go to bed and do it all again. Life before kids felt very hustle and bustle at the time. But in hindsight, it was the most free and independent I've ever been. After you have a baby, life slows down a lot. You're stuck at home, recovering, feeding, changing, cuddling your little baby, and the life that you've built for yourself over so many years shatters before your eyes. But you love it. The more you stare into your baby's eyes, the more love you feel. The more you wonder if you did the right thing. A lot is taken away from you once you have a baby. Autonomy is a big one. That's the thing I struggled with the most. You no longer decide when you wake up, when you eat, when you can be alone. A lot of people struggle with mom brain after having a baby. It feels like a permanent fog in your head and your memory is so much worse than it used to be. You always feel like you're forgetting something, always on edge. But then the newborn stage passes and you tell yourself you've gotten used to the sleep deprivation. Your baby is more interactive and that's fun. Laughing, rolling over, sitting up, but you just itch to get out of the house. On the other hand, just thinking about leaving the house with your baby causes intense anxiety. What if she has a poop explosion in public? What if she gets hungry and there's nowhere to breastfeed? What if she starts screaming and I can't calm her down? During this stage, I escape the house only to drive around in circles. My kid only takes naps in the car at this age, either that or in my lap. A million billion things run through my mind all day. Gotta do the laundry. Wash the bottles, sweep, do the dishes, pick up toys, clean out the car, submit that for work, have sex, bring in the car for maintenance, order shoes in the next size up, we're out of tomato sauce. Why did I say that to my mother-in-law? Am I visiting family enough? Am I Googling too much? Damn, I forgot to mention that to the pediatrician. When was the last time I went to the dentist? Why does my headache never go away? How do I get my baby to sleep through the night? Did she eat enough today? Am I paying enough attention to my baby? Did I spend too much time on my phone? Why do I feel like a failure as a mom? Then your baby takes her first steps. You try to remember to be in the moment. You try to cherish every little detail of your baby's life because they are growing so fast. I am so happy, but simultaneously suffocating. How did the first year pass by so quickly? I swear she was in my belly yesterday. Wow, she is so cute. I love her so much. The year between one and two years old, is an interesting year. Your baby gains more independence. Your baby can play by herself. She can eat full meals and is fully weaned from breastfeeding. Now I can relax and revert back to my normal pre-baby self, right? <laughs> well, actually, now I try to pretend I'm Superman and do double the chores I would normally do. This means during nap time, I'm literally running around the house getting chores done before the baby wakes up. I am extremely burnt out by this point. And whenever I choose to rest, I feel the guilt eating away at my brain. She's two already? I, what? Oh my gosh, the baby years are officially behind us, which is a bittersweet sense of relief. I'm really cautiously anticipating the future. I've, I've heard about the terrible twos. I'm low key kind of scared, but I'm convincing myself I'm not. She's beginning to talk now, which is amazing to hear her thoughts out loud. It is also super annoying. Potty training. In the moment, definitely the worst five days of my life. But in retrospect, I don't really remember it. <laughs> it's relieving to not have to use diapers anymore, but now we add bathroom breaks to the mental task list. The mental load of being a mom is nothing like I've ever experienced before. When I was in college, I used to pride myself in not having to take notes when given direct instructions. I used to be able to hold so much information in my brain. Now, after having kids, my brain always feels mushy, foggy, dead however you want to describe it. I can't remember basic vocabulary words or things I need to do tomorrow or even if I ate breakfast this morning. I thought it was just a phase during the newborn stage, but it hasn't gone away yet. Can anyone confirm having kids gives you brain damage? Oh, 
Oh, uh, okay. Three years old. I've been a mom for three years now. That seems like a long time. I'm definitely not a new mom anymore. I have some skin in the game, but the older moms still think I'm just a kid who doesn't know anything. Oh, just wait until she gets homework, then you'll really be pulling your hair out. Just wait until those hormones start kicking in, then you'll really be in trouble. Just wait until- I don't want to. I am tired of having my struggles invalidated by other moms, family members, the internet. Internet. Being a mom is hard, really hard at all stages. The newborn phase is not harder than the toddler phase, it's just different. And I'm willing to bet the toddler phase is not more difficult than the teenager phase, it's just different. It's super easy to want to compare yourself to other moms on the internet and in real life, but we all handle motherhood differently. One mom may really thrive in the newborn phase and you might just want to jump out the window, and that's okay. One mom may may love getting their toddler dressed to the nines and you might struggle getting your child dressed at all and that's okay. One mom may cry every single day because she is super overwhelmed with motherhood and you may excitedly plan out 10 different activities to do on every single day of the week and still somehow have the energy to cook a four course meal every single night for dinner and that's, that's actually not okay. You may be a psychopath. <laughs> Basically, what I've learned from being a mom over the past three years is that motherhood looks differently for everyone. There there are really hard times and there are really good times. Motherhood has given me the best and worst moments of my life. Also, motherhood gave me the ability to grow so much as a human being. It's taken me three years to accept that I'm never gonna be like my pre-baby self again. And it's taken me three years to realize that that's okay. I like myself better now anyways. As parents, none of us know what we're doing. <laughs> Just do what you think is best.